Diving for sea creatures is one of the quickest ways. To... Yeah, well, we're going to be diving later. We've got the diving suit now, so that's definitely something I'm going to be doing. But let's go and see who's about in the airport. Would someone be able to explain? Oh, thank you, Plum68. Hey, hey, hey! Welcome to your one and only gateway to the skies, the Snuggleton Airport. Nice to meet you. I'm Orville, ground crew for the Dodo, Ar De Dodo Airlines, even. Dodo Airlines, the crew may be flightless, but that doesn't mean you have to be. If you want to visit another island, invite friends to this one or go on a mystery tour. This is the place to be. Oh, and we've also got a mail service at this airport. Sometimes a letter's just better, you know? If you want to send someone a note, take a gander to your right. We've got all kinds of cards at the card stand. By the way, you're a Shilab, right? It's a small island. Go to guess around. I just got a Nook Mars ticket from Tom Nook with Shilab written on it, which makes it yours. So if you want to use this ticket, you still want to see the magic words. I want to fly. Got it? So, Shilab, you got anything to tell me? I want to fly. Roger. By the way, I've got a Nook Mars ticket with your name on it behind the desk here, so use that whenever. So, just to get the paperwork all efficient, where did you want to go? I want to visit someone. Ah, so you want to go visit somebody on another island. So, the first time you connect with folks on another island, whether letting them in or visiting them, the legal eagle say I've got to make sure you see some important info. It's kind of long, but it's a big deal, so please read the whole thing. Be mindful, be good to others, be dapper. <laughs> Thanks for sticking with me through the Yawnfest there. Let's move on to the next step. You want to head to a nearby island on local play or some far off island using online play? Via online play. Sounds good. Gym 15, do we have to revisit you to send stuff? Okay, how about we... Chill our boots on the sending stuff, okay? <laughs> like... It's okay, I'll get to it. Sounds good. Oh, I'm sorry if we showed you this before, but the legal eagles say we got it before someone plays online. Be considerate. Don't irritate other players. Gotcha, let me just connect you to the old internet for some online play then. Gotcha! Okay, so I can go see some of you now. Ah, oh, Jin, sorry, I didn't mean to be mean. It's just I've been incessantly asked about uh, when are you going to come to my island? When are you going to be able open for gifts? I need to unload stuff. I want to give you gifts. It's been a little bit um, over the top. And it's so generous and lovely, but it's also a bit too much. How do you want to travel? Um, search for a friend. Let's see who's about. Oh, hey, first time playing with friends? Have I got an app for you? It's called Best Friends List, and I can honestly tell you without exaggeration, it's the best thing ever. It just takes a sec to install, so could you pull out your phone for me? Okay. Best friends list. And you're all set. The app's got instructions built in, so just open it after you meet up with a friend. Thanks, Jim. Looking for islands you can visit. Let's see who's open. Oh, hang on. Which island do you want to go to? Well, so, uh, we can go to Lulsbury's Island, Bubbles' Island, or uh, Hellcat's Island. I think I can go to Bubbles' Island because Bubbles says she had all the fruit. So let's go see Bubbles. Okay, when you travel, think about what would dodos do. <laughs> okay, we're off to see bubbles.
I will get to all the friend requests uh, later. And then maybe next time if your island's up when uh, when I'm ready to travel, then you may get picked. Oh, thanks, Ashby. Yeah, I'll get I'll um I'll get on there uh, after after the stream. I'll pop in and uh, just go through all the friend requests. Oh wow! Look at your flowers. They're amazing. If someone could help Hail swing out. That'd be lovely. Oh, we're making a water landing, that's okay, because this is a seaplane. Trying so hard to get pretty ones. Yeah, they look so nice. That's where I want to get to with things. I want to be sort of getting a few a few different flowers and uh, stuff like that. But I will go and buy them from your stores rather than uh, necessarily taking them as presents, because I, as I say, I do feel that's more the way it's meant to be. Uh, chat with other players. Press R to send messages with everyone you're playing with. Well, I'm just going to talk to you, I think. You can also use the chat log app on your Nook phone to see past messages. Is that you, Bubbles? Oh, you look so pretty. I love your little dress. And your hat. Oh, sorry. I walked through your flowers. I shouldn't have done that. Oh, I should have bought my watering can. Darn it. Oh, you got Able Sisters here. What? Yeah, um, Avox Discord link would be amazing, just so that uh, Hailswing can get in and find my friend code. That's so pretty. Imperial bells. 23,000 bells. I don't have any bells on me. so much right so I'm gonna leave bubbles some cherries as a little uh what do you mean I can't put things in the plaza? Man. Let's see, I can put it slightly to the side, maybe. Some cherries as a present for Bubbles for having me on the island. There you go, Bubbles. Cherries for you. You're a superhero trying for gold roses. Oh my goodness. Oh, wow. Moon prison power. <laughs> That's insane. I love it. <laughs> That's so cute. Oh, I love your bridges. And you have some more. Do you, so do you mind if I take a, f a few bits off the, the, the trees? I'll only take like um, one tree's worth of each. Oh no, I told everyone. Please do. Thank you. So I will pick up some oranges. And we will have three orange trees in my little growth. And what's this? Apples. 
So then we'll have cherries, pears, oranges, apples. I've got pears already. Peaches. everything isn't it it's peaches cherries pears oranges apples five of them am i right there oh bubbles what are you wearing now my goodness do you mind if i catch that butterfly i don't have that one yet coconuts it is a monarch nice That'll help me with my museum. Thank you, Bubbles. Oh no, <laughs> my net broke. <laughs> okay. It's the Bubbles fashion show. It is indeed. It really is. So this is the sort of thing I want to be doing on people's islands. Um, picking a little bit of fruit. Catching a bug or two. Coming, like, if you live in a different hemisphere or something, I'd like to come and fish on your island. That sort of thing. I'll probably only be visiting one or two islands per, per time. Just depending. Now you said there was coconuts somewhere too. Where are your coconuts, Bubbles? Did you plant them on the beach? That's what I would do. <gasps> you have a merry-go-round! Oh my goodness! You've got so many islanders as well. Thank you. Right, so we shall be planting all of these fruits. Ah, oh, so wonderful. Let's see what else I can find on Bubbles' island. That Bubbles' house. Can I go in your house? I may pick a single flower. Okay. Oh, I think I have... I don't have any pansies, I don't think. May I have one of these blue pansies? Thank you very much. I'm trying not to run through your flowers, but they're kind of everywhere, sorry. <laughs> so is this your house? I'm going to knock and come in. Have a look. Coconuts only grow in sand. Oh, right. <laughs> I would have thought... That's always where I've thought to plant them anyway. Wow, look at all your butterflies. And you've got your birthday cake on your cake stand. I love those little tables. They are so cute. And you've, you've got sand on the, on the floor in here. That's so cool too. Let's go see all your different rooms. Oh, wow. I love it. You've got a moving sea wallpaper. That's some really cool stuff in this game. And a map and a little kettle. He's running around Bubbles' house. <laughs> oh, this bathroom. Goals. <laughs> Get your own hot tub. Add a stream running through your bathroom. <laughs> I love that, it's, that your house is a mixture of like practice Practicality, like your, your washing error and things like that, and your sink and your weighing scales and your toilet brush and your plunger, <laughs> but also a river running through it. 
That's brilliant. So is it, is it, it's just, oh no, there's another room. My goodness. It's like the TARDIS in here. You have a music room. Oh, I would live in here. You've got a xylophone. That's incredible. <gasps> and you've got your own DJ turntables and everything. Oh my goodness. That's fantastic, Bubbles. Right, is there anything else that you... Upstairs? Where's upstairs? Oh, you have stairs. So you get out that... Oh, hang on, sorry, I need to go in. But you have... Wow. I'll come back in, sorry, I accidentally walked out the door when I was going through the stairs, but... You have a basement and upstairs. Sorry, I accidentally... Oh, no, don't go up yet. Oh, no. Oh, no, no. I won't look, I promise. <laughs> Are you lighting the candles ready for me to come up? <laughs> it's okay, okay. All right, let's go. This is crazy. Like, you have a forest in your house. The upstairs is like way bigger, isn't it? It's like a double sized room. You can just jump in the little like piles of cherry blossom. Oh, this is so cool. Okay, what's in the basement then? See, it's all lovely up here, but what's in the basement? Yeah, in Bubbles, you've got a proper mansion. But this is the sort of thing I, I want to do. Oh, I see. Down here, you've got a beach. You've got a bug in here. Are you meant to have a bug in here? That's so cool. I love your moving wallpapers. They are insanely fun. I think I finished it yet. No, yeah, that's understandable though. You've done a lot of work to this house. Thank you for the tour. That was amazing. Thank you for the fruit. Thank you for the flower. I will go and plant it in my flower garden. I think that's a good rule actually though. Take one flower from everybody I visit. That way it won't be too overwhelming. Now I've gotten all the fruit, um, that it will just be it will just be picking up flowers from people now, so I will I will visit islands and uh, every time I visit an island I will Do I want a plantable blue plant pansy? Well what I'll probably do, Bubbles, is um I will Come back with some actual bells. Oh, I picked a flower which is wearable. Ooh. I can wear it. Oh, it's so cute. I love it. No, don't worry about the flower for now. So what I'll probably do is every time I visit someone's island, I'll go to their shops and I will go and buy flowers from their shops. I think that's going to be the way to do it. Like I say, I was I was always happy to swap fruit with people because that that's definitely a big thing about Animal Crossing. Not all the flowers are buyable, yeah, but the ones that aren't buyable are breedable, right? Happy, 
So then I want to buy the ones that are available to buy and then use those to breed my own. That's what I want to do. Howdy, always good to have visitors to Bubble Bay. Can I help you with something? I would like to go home. Thank you for the tour, Bubbles. Roger. I'll probably come back at some point, Bubbles, and I'll buy some of your flower seeds that I haven't got. I've got to remember which ones I actually have. <laughs> Wish you luck in the breeding. My head still hurts from it all. <laughs> yeah. But it's... it's it's part of the game. It's a thing to do. It's something that I enjoy. I enjoyed uh, the flower breeding in Littlewood way more than I thought I would. Blue Rose is a whole big deal. How to get them. Fastest is 80 in-game days. <laughs> That's fine. If I happen to do 80 in-game days, then maybe, maybe I'll get a Blue Rose and maybe I won't. It's all fine by me, but it's the process. It's the... It's going to be the, the joy of finding out like which flowers have bred with each other and things like that. And I might not get very far with it. I don't really know. We'll have to see. Blue roses need a specific type of white rose. <laughs> what I may do with flower breeding though is I may look up guides on how to get certain colours. But that's about as much as I'm going to have help with. Okay, and it is night time. Looks like I got some some miles for that because I obviously it's like air miles, isn't it? So traveling to see bubbles got me some miles, which is quite nice. Right now, I, I broke him a bug net. I broke him a watering can. Thank you, bubbles. That was such a nice visit. I'm glad I managed to visit you before it got too uh, dark. Mind you, you've got a load of different stuff on your island and what I'll probably do is that was quite a quick visit basically because I've still got a lot to do on my island right now so the visits probably will be quite like whistle stop tour once I'm really starting to look for different flowers and I know what things I'm wanting um, at that point I'll probably go to people's islands so, and, and I'll stay there and I'll fish and I'll bug hunt and things like that because you're in different places, especially those of you that are in America or Australia, uh, places like that, not Europe, you're gonna have very different stuff to me, so. All right, let's see what I need to make another bug net. Ashby, you're in America, yeah, so if you're on, I might come to your island. Um, as I say, once I finish the stream, I'll add you all as friends, the people that have requested that. And then you will show up uh, when I'm streaming. Right, so... Oh no, I don't... Not that net. The other net. Mirror... Flimsy net. I need five tree branches for that. And what do I need for the watering can? Just to remind myself. And five softwood. I think I have all of that in my house. So let's go get five sticks, five softwood. Maybe may need to get yourself a switch. Animal Crossing looks like it's so much fun. Yeah, I, I, this is the first time I've had a switch. Uh, sorry, Tommy, I didn't mean to bump into you. The first time I've had a switch. So like, um, I was playing on Avax Switch before, but I could only play on his island. So now I have an island all of my own and a house all of my own. That I can, well, I did have a house on his island of my own, but um, I can decorate the actual island and I can upgrade everything and I can make the shop upgrade. That tiger is like my favourite thing ever. I, I feel like I have to make a, an entire Japanese theme room just to put him in it. <laughs> okay, so I need tree branches and I need softwood. Because I haven't even finished uh, watering my, my flowers yet. Be like Avak, get on this island, water my flowers, <laughs> make them breed. I don't have you yet, I don't think. Oh, 
was so annoying because like why did I run somewhere where I would, I would even see that bug? I don't have a bug net right now. <laughs> but I'm thinking there might be some different creatures and different fish at night. No, I, uh, I just went and got those things. I need to go and actually craft them. I'm thinking about too many things at once and then going to the wrong places. Right, let's head into this tent and make myself a watering can and a bug mat. How does Twitch work? Does me watching the stream help Sheila? It helps in that um, I am wanting to get partner, if I can at some point. So you watching the stream helps me get to my average of 75 that I need to get partner and that allows me things like I can squad stream with AVAC and things like that then there's a few things that will open up to me with my streaming at that point so it definitely helps from that perspective. Um, and it also helps just from a discoverability perspective the more people that are watching the more people are likely to come in. Uh, the stream does rely on direct support though for um, me paying my food bills and things. Should I craft something using Tom Nook's workbench? Yes, indeed. Hey, Tanya! Hello! Thank you for the raid. How are you doing? <laughs> Twinkly raid. Yeah. I was not aware you were streaming today. It's lovely to see you streaming as well. Uh, I know you like very much like me. Did you not take a bit of a break from it for a while? I had to because of the COVID stuff. Yeah. Anyway, never mind. It has been a long time. I think the last time I really chatted to you, Tanya, was the last time we sung together. <laughs> yeah. It was nice to be back, eh? Should I craft something using Tom Works? Tom Nook's workbench. Tom Works Nook bench? I am not talking very well today for some reason. I'm not sure why. But let's make a flimsy net. And let's also make a flimsy watering can. Oh yeah, we did. We did have a bit of a chat on, on Twitter, just to sort of touch base with you, wasn't it? <laughs> Tom Works Nook Bench sounds like something entirely different and not quite safe for work. Probably not. Oh well. <laughs> okay, so some of these some of these flowers are not as twinkly as they should be. Let's get the old watering can. I've almost got a full tool ring now. I wonder what I'm missing. I don't think that one was twinkling. I think the others are. That one is. I don't think that one is. I think those two both need watering as well. I'm trying to see if that red one at the front. No, that one seems to be sparkly, sparkly, so that's fine. Okay, so we're all done. How am I liking the new update? I don't think I've actually seen anything from the new update yet. I think we might go diving soon. Oh no, put it away, put it away. <laughs> the flowers should definitely be the twinkliest they can be. Yes. Twinkly flowers. Um, so I spend most of my time with my inventory chock full. Surprise, surprise. I have five iron from somewhere. I don't know where I found all that. Oh yeah, of course. Some of it was given to me, wasn't it? By my villager friend. So now I only need 24 iron. 
which is quite nice. I'm actually gonna put that in my house so I don't accidentally use it to craft with. Otherwise I'll accidentally make myself a really nice spade or something and then I won't have a shop. It'll suck. Right. I think maybe I could go to a mystery island and see it. Well, I kind of need to get all the stuff from my actual place first. Oh, I always forget this. Go to the pockets to move to the storage and go to the storage to move to the pockets. Is Kelpton at the pier? I have no idea. Like, there's a lot of stuff that I'm sure doesn't show up on day two. <laughs> hey, so I need to, like, go and plant a lot of this fruit. To wear my wetsuit and go diving. I want to put my hat in storage, actually, because... Um... Oh, look, I'm wearing my wetsuit. I could hang it on the wall though. I want to put my softwood into storage and those twigs into storage. And then I've got some fruit to plant, so I think we should probably do that next. Oh yeah, I'm gonna be streaming for a while, yeah. I still need to make all of my money for my um Mortgage payment. I need to plant all my fruit here. I need to go. There's one more fossil I need to dig up. I probably got like a load of fishing and things. I've got, and I want to make myself another two and a half thousand miles, um, so that I can get the inventory upgrade. So yeah, I've got loads of stuff I want to do. He's gonna run around in my wetsuit. It's hilarious. Probably go diving soon. Okay, I did have a bit of a fruit orchard going up here, but I don't know whether it'll get like too cramped if I put too many trees there. So I think I'll just sort of... I'll just have a very natural looking island, I think. And we'll just plant things all over the place. Maybe not too close to the museum, because that might expand out a fair bit. I mean, the coconuts have gone on the beach. I think there's room near Agnes's house for a couple more trees, so... Let's do some of that. Again, her house might expand, though, so... Let's not go too, too close. Yeah, I like the natural look. And so thank you, Bubbles, for the donation of all the different fruits. Swing. I'll be dealing with friends requests at the end of the stream and then if you are around for another stream another day then uh, like I mentioned there will be a chance that I will visit you okay I'm not close enough to the hole apparently to be holding the shovel. Oops. Thank you for that because I was getting very confused. I was like, what's going on here? Well, that makes total sense. So we're going to get some good nook miles here for planting uh, f foreign fruit trees. Well, that was good.
Yeah, enjoy your norms, Tanya. I'll see you in a bit. I to remember where all the holes are that I made. So some apples here. I might have used all the holes up. Yeah, another apple tree done. There's my money tree as well. then cool I don't like where that is actually I'll go back a little bit I think that's a better place We'll do the coconuts and I've got all of the lovely fruits then, which is wonderful. There's just one left. Okay, invasive species, yeah. Okay, let's go and uh, grab all the nook miles that I've gotten for that. So I've got some Nook Miles Plus for doing the DIY projects. So now, grow fruit trees. Well, I'm going to plant one more, so I don't know whether planting counts or whether it has to be fully grown or what, but uh, okay. And are we going to plant the coconut trees? Oh no, there's all these holes. Probably be planting more fruit trees at some point. And then down here, let's have a couple of coconut trees. a big thanks to Bubble Bubbles for letting me uh, come to the island and grab all those different fruit trees. Yeah, I know. I've got loads of points. So. Total freshman. For oranges. Plucky star for... Is that uh, Peaches? Uh, Miss, Mr. or Ms. Popular Crisp. Apples. Coconuts. So what am I missing? Do I need to actually plant a cherry tree? I do, don't I? That's what I need to do. I need to actually plant one. Is my hair purple now? I went out to talk to my insurance company since they hit a deal list. Oh no, I missed a lot. No, my hair's not purple. Is it? It's always, like, from the beginning though. Oops. From the beginning it's been a slight um, plum colour. Like it's a sort of brown, but it's also sort of purple. So it's probably at night it looks more purple. That's probably what it is. Right, well, next thing I want to do... I, I look a bit more gothy in the dark. 
Last thing I want to do is get my vaulting pole and head over here. Grab some cherries and I, I think what I'm going to need to do just to get that last nook thing is to plant a cherry tree. the shovel first, don't I? Right. A hole. That's sort of the one thing is I that I haven't done is plant one of my own native fruits. And guess what? Finally, we have enough. I didn't actually realise, but the, but planting all the fruits has actually gotten me enough points now and other half. I got a thousand just for planting a cherry tree. Could have done that ages ago. Man. <laughs> so we've done the full set of fruit roots now, which is amazing. Super amazing. And then I also got the uh, Nook Plus. Another hundred miles for that. Dive for sea creatures. Well, I'm about to try and do that, I think. Bubbles, she needs to go work on her D&D prep. Okay, Bubbles. Have a lovely time. Have a super lovely time. Okay. So we're done with all of the fruit roots. So the next thing I want to do... Uh, get these weeds. <laughs> I mean, I've got all the time in the world to, to gather... To make the weeds into something. Because I, when I visit the island next time, I won't have as many weeds as many weeds to weed, because the island will already be weeded. I might not entirely be weeded, because I might not have done all of it, but, you know. Look, I dug up a fossil! I sure I saw another one around somewhere, didn't I? I'm a bad G lab, I'm leaving holes everywhere. Ah, yes, here. So there's another two fossils. Look, I dug up another fossil. So let's give those to Blathers, get him to appraise them. But yeah, it'll be super useful to get. Because I get fruits. So I'm gonna have to start like looking into this whole turnip market malarkey that people are always talking about. I caught a rice grasshopper. I know. I don't know whether I can be bothered with the whole turnip thing. Though, really. like, is it gonna turn into like spreadsheets on Eve? You know, <laughs> like. Gotta look at this turnip price. My house is full of turnips. Okay, so let's grab. What am I doing? I don't move that to pockets. Ah, I suck at this game. I swear. Oh well. Let's just go see Blathers. What am I in my house? I don't even know. I have no luck with turnips. Hmm. Because it's a case of you got to buy them and then, like, they might rot. And if they rot before you've sold them, that's a problem, but you can also make a loss on them. Just let me know if you have items to donate and need assistance. Well, what I need first is a fossil assessment. Or would you like me to assess? I'm all a flutter. So we've got two of these. Oh, I think maybe we've already had a... Oh, no. We're in assessment mode, G-Lab. Concentrate. <laughs> let me see here. Hmm. Indeed. Woohoo! This is most assuredly a Diplodale, a splendid specimen in superb condition. Indeed, we'd be one step closer to opening our museum with a Diplodale like this. Would you donate this relic of the past to further our museum's future? Sure. 
Good, how wonderful. I'll add this to our collection with the utmost haste. I never thought I'd lay eyes upon such a well-preserved Diplo tale. Dear me, might I give you a short presentation on the topic? Sure. Wonderful. It is fascinating stuff, I assure you. Now, where's to begin? Good old Diplodocus. What would we do without you? This stout fellow embodied all the best in dinosaurs. Those sturdy legs, that magnificent tail, and above all, that extraordinary neck. Did you know that its centre of gravity was such that sitting up on its hind legs was probably easy? What's more, paired with its long neck, this ability greatly increased its reach for eating plants. Best of all, Diplodocus probably grew its entire life, having no adult size. Would that we were also gifted. And that's what I have to say about that. Anywho, I'll gladly accept your generous donation. I only hope we can find what remains of this fossil and display it in its fully assembled form. Many thanks to you and best of luck. By the by, I wonder if you have anything else that can be donated, and if so, might I take it for you? I've got something. Marvellous. What would you like to donate? My monarch butterfly that I got on Bubbles' island. Eek! A monarch butterfly! What a wretched thing! Alas, I'm obliged, obliged to ask. Would you like to learn more? Sure. Ah, I see. In that case. Ah. Did you know the monarch butterfly migrates south for the winter and returns north for the summer? Indeed, these horrid orange beasties do not tolerate the cold and travel 3,000 miles to escape the winter. During the journey, they cluster together in trees by the thousands just to stay warm. Imagine! Hordes of the foul fluttering fiends huddled together in one place. If only they'd put on tiny coats instead. <laughs> Imagine butterflies in tiny coats, that'd be so cute. Anywho, to my sincerest thanks for your donation. And though bugs are the bane of my existence, rest assured the wretched thing will get the best of care here. I know, poor blavers. We need two donations to open the museum. Needless to say, I'm eager to accept your continued contributions. Whew. Uh, so I need to catch some, like, novel fish or something like that for, for my final donation. Right, one more fossil. Let's hope it's a new one. Let me see here. Hmm, indeed. Woohoo! After some consideration, I can safely declare this fossil to be a diplo pelvis. Oh, it's another bit of the diplo. A splendid specimen in superb condition. Indeed, we would be one step closer to opening with a diplo pelvis. Would you like to donate it? Yes, I would. But how wonderful, I'll add it to our collection with the utmost haste. I never thought I'd lay eyes upon such a well-preserved Diplo pelvis. <laughs> Dear me, might I give you a short presentation? Yeah! I mean, we already heard about Diplos, so I, I don't know if it'll be the same thing. Oh, it is indeed. Well, we're not going to read it all out, because we just did. But I'll make you tell me it all, Blathers. Imagine if you never stopped growing. I skip the bug dialogue because I feel guilty about making him talk about them. I feel no such guilt. You shouldn't take a job as a museum curator that deals with bugs if you can't deal with bugs. Alright, one more donation. So we need to bug catch, we need to fish, we need to... Oh, do you know what? I bet you if we could go get sea monsters... I wonder if we're allowed to do that at night. I wonder what we need to do. Would it be something down... Would it be down on the pier or something? I've not left it too late. Ooh, a shell. Don't mind if I do. Go to the shore and try and swim. Okay. How's my inventory looking? Oh, it's got some space. Okay, cool. It's probably the best I'm going to get it, really, isn't it? 